Hello, Dr. G here from naturalfoodsdiet.org. Today I want to talk a little bit about fat. And if you have too much fat in your body or possibly know someone that does, this video blog might have some information that you need. Fat is where animals store energy. Another common term for this is blubber, which is the derogatory description of excess fat on the human body or the fat that a whale has. Now you may or may not know, but there are basically three types of fat. One is called white adipose tissue, and it's abbreviated WAT or WAT. Another is termed brown adipose tissue, which is abbreviated BAT or BAT. Now there's a third type of fat that has various names, but it's commonly called beige fat. And I guess we can't call that BAT because we already use that term for brown fat. So we'll just call it beige fat for now. Now, what's the difference between brown fat, beige fat, and white fat? White fat is a storage depot for energy, and it also serves some metabolic functions. Brown fat is brown because it contains numerous mitochondria, which are the energy powerhouses of the cell. White fat doesn't contain mitochondria. Brown fat also contains a substance called uncoupling protein 1. And this protein allows the mitochondria to burn through fuel, that's fat stores, to create heat. Brown fat is plentiful in babies and it's thought to be a survival mechanism. In case you leave your baby out in the cold, they may survive. Bat is mostly lost in adults and it's especially lost in overweight people. Now what is exciting about the different types of fat is that you can increase your beige fat and it's actually hidden in your white fat. Now beige fat is distributed in your subcutaneous fat which are the love handles but not the deep intra-abdominal fat and that's the stuff in deep between our organs. Beige fat is transformed from white fat that undergoes mitochondrial biogenesis and the production of the uncoupling protein 1. Now I know some of you out there are saying, hey Dr. G, what the hell can I do to turn my white fat into beige fat? Well, I thought you'd never ask. All you need to do is increase the activation of the sympathetic nervous system. Say what? All you need to do is increase your macrophages production of catecholamines and it would also be helpful to increase the nerve branching and recruitment of the sympathetic nervous system. Now it would be nice also to increase the blood supply to your fat cells so the hormones can get there and this is created by an increase in vascular endothelial factor. So let me give you that in plain English. We want to increase our fight or flight nervous system, including the production of the hormone norepinephrine and increase the nerve fibers themselves of the sympathetic nervous system. We also want to increase the blood flow to the fat. So how do we do this? Well, an easy way that's been studied many times in both animals and humans is cold adaptation. That's exposing yourself to the cold. Cold exposure will increase your beige fat levels to allow you to improve metabolic conditions like type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance, cardiovascular disease, obesity, and even hyperlipidemia. Now what happens if you go through all the trouble to induce beige fat and then you stop exposing yourself to the cold? Well, it appears that the fat will drift back toward white fat, or as some people call it, blubber. So it looks as though you've got to keep the cold exposure going. Now I do this myself personally with continued intermittent cold adaptation sessions, which I go over in other videos. Now I'm sure that some of you are asking, has Big Pharma come up with a drug so we can just take a pill so we can keep our heaters blasting instead of turning down the thermostat on our homes, businesses, and cars in the winter and freezing our butts off? Well, the answer was the diabetic class of drugs, the TZDs. The first drug in this class that was approved by the FDA was Resilent. 
The TZD drugs are effective for increasing insulin action. So they lower blood sugar and they help with diabetes. And they also increase the thermogenic expression in both BAT and WAT. And yes, the TZDs also stimulate the formation of beige fat. You would think they would help with weight loss, but unfortunately, they usually cause weight gain. In fact, Resilin was taken off the market because of fatal liver side effects. Not good. The two that remain on the market have multiple problems. Actos has been correlated with an increased risk of bladder cancer, heart failure, and fractures. Avandia is thought to increase the risk of heart attacks, and the FDA restricted it so it could only be prescribed in certain situations. Now, that restriction was eventually lifted, but there's still a lot of controversy over the safety of Avandia. Now, I'd like to say that Big Pharma's answer to this problem has been disappointing, to say the least. Now, might there be other mechanisms by which cold exposure helps with body composition and glucose metabolism? Well, I'm glad you asked that. Because besides stimulating you uh, uncoupling protein 1 and mitochondrial biogenesis in beige fat, a study was just published in the journal Cell. And this study found that cold temperatures changed the gut microflora to stimulate fat loss. This was studied in mice. So how cold did they make the poor little mice? Well, they kept them at 43 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 days. The interesting thing was when they transplanted the gut flora from the newly skinny mice into regular mice that had been raised in a sterile environment, they lost weight even without cold exposure. And they also had an increase in the amount of beige fat. So what does this tell us? Well, it tells us that the gut flora plays a big role in our health and sends messages to, and to some extent, controls our metabolic machinery. Now, for those of you that want to maintain optimal weight and to prevent metabolic diseases, beige fat is a big ally. My advice is to take advantage of the cold when it's available. Like now, as we are approaching the winter solstice in the Northern Hemisphere. This is Dr. G. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel.